So it's been about two months since I did my last free trade portfolio update. So I thought I would just do a quick video doing a little bit of an update. So I have actually added one new stock to the portfolio. So I'll take you through that first in case that's all you're interested in. Um, then I'll jump into the top performing one and then we'll go through the rest of the portfolio. So let's just jump straight in. So the newest addition to my portfolio is Oatly. So Oatly IPO'd not long ago, I think, May. It IPO'd in May. So you can see here that I've purchased 4.66 shares in Oatly uh, twice. So on the 20th of May and then again on the 11th of June. So it's about £80 that I've put in and I'm currently... 3% up on that, which is actually a lot lower than it was for a while. So there was actually a point where I was about 30% up, um, which was really cool. So obviously it's dropped a little bit, but still in the green, so pretty good. In terms of my reasoning for Oatly, you may remember a while back, I sort of said in this video that I was going to take a little bit more risk and whilst I don't see this as a terribly risky investment, they aren't actually profitable yet. However, their revenues are growing substantially. And one of the biggest deciding factors for me was the fact that I use Oatly all the time. Like I actually order Oatly in crates of like 12 and everyone I know uses it, or well, maybe not everyone, but most people I know use it and I know just how popular it is. And I know that whilst dairy alternatives are gaining popularity and dairy is going down and the alternatives are going up and that they have a lot of competition, nothing really comes close to the Oatly Barista, which is what I use to make my coffee. I've tried various things and nothing, nothing works the same way. So I remember reading, I think it was on One Up on Wall Street, I think where you know sometimes you might just know more than wall street analysts because you are down on the ground and seeing what people are liking and not liking and you know perhaps you might be able to far better predict what a company is going to end up like because you just can see that people are stopping using it or starting to use it so that was kind of my rationale. I sort of had to look. I know that their revenues are growing substantially um, and I know just how popular it is. So I decided to take a little bit of a risk. I don't, again, I don't see it as a big one, but this was sort of the rationale, sort of similar to Greg's where I'm just like, love the product, really support it, going to invest in it. So next, uh, onto my top performing stock at the moment, and that is Amex. So, so you can see here, I am 51.6% up on Amex, which is awesome. Uh, that is such a good return. Um, I've added 0.17 of a share since the last update here. So I've currently got about 188 pounds here, of which 64 pounds is the increase in investment. So if you look at the graph here, you can see just how much it's gone up recently. And again, I use Amex both for my personal credit card and for my company credit card. And like I said, I'm a big believer in investing in products you use. Okay, so taking it from the top now for everything else. S&P 500 ETF, 12 shares at the moment, which is an increase of two shares since the last update. So currently 12% up on that and sitting at around 700 pounds in this one. S&P Div Aristocrat next, 12 shares, which is no change since last time. Currently up 15% on this one, which is about 77 pounds. And I've got 585 pounds in here. FTSE All World Div, again, no change here. I've got 12 shares again. Didn't plan this, it just kind of happened. Um, but currently about 550 pounds in here and up 14.7%, which is about a 70 pounds gain. Global Clean Energy ETF next. So 50 shares, which is an increase of eight shares. Um, just trying to average down here because I'm still down about 14% here, which is about 76 pounds loss. So currently sitting at 475 pounds here. But again, you can see the graph. 
it went up a lot and then it's just crashed quite a bit but um, in case you missed my previous videos I have said that within the renewable energy sector there has been issues with supplies of parts etc that they don't think are going to be resolved until the end of this year so a lot of the sector has taken a massive hit which I think explains this so I'm not too worried because I genuinely do think that long-term clean energy is going to do extremely well so that's why I'm thinking average down my position now and hopefully it will go up. GSK next 27 shares here which is an increase of one share since the last update currently one percent down so about four pounds down um, and it's currently sitting at 381 pounds. AT&T I've got 11.2 shares which is an increase of 0.3 shares since the last update uh, currently 8% down which isn't too bad because for a while I was really down on this one so currently sitting at £234. FTSE 100 ETF next 31 shares no change since the last update um, currently £216 here and it's up 13.5% so £25 gain. Compass Group next 11 shares which is an increase of one share since the last update. It actually still hasn't recovered to the pre-market crash levels, um, which is why I thought I would just add a little bit here. Um, so I'm currently up 10.5%, which is pretty good. Um, and it's currently sitting at 169 pounds. AbV, no change in this one, 1.75 shares, currently sitting at 142 pounds and it's just under a 20% gain, so about £24. Polar Capital, I've increased by two shares since the last update, so 17 shares at the moment, with a current value of £140, and it's a 21.5% gain, so about £25, um, which is pretty cool, but with Polar Capital, for me, this is about the dividend. So they've actually got a 4% dividend, which is pretty high in my opinion. So that's the main reason that I've invested in them. S&P UK Div, again, 12 shares. I don't know what's happened here, honestly. Um, but currently 12.5% up, um, current value £132. So about 15 of that being the gain. Plug power next. So finally back up in the green here. Um, four shares still, so no change. Um, just under £100, so £92 that I've got here. And it's up 21.6%, so about £16 gain. Greg's next. So three shares still here, currently up 42.7%. So about £23 up here and current value 76.86. Tesco next, no change here, 34 shares, still down 25% since that special dividend. So currently sitting at £76. The physical gold ETF next, so three shares here, no change. Um, currently down 3% here, but only about £2. Um, so current value 74.98. Now physical silver next. This is a little bit heartbreaking because I was really in the green here for a while, but I'm currently down 10.5%. Um, so four shares, no change, £72.32 in value. Visa next, no change again on this one, 0.4 shares up 6.14% um, and current value of £70, um, so about a £4 gain here. The Hut Group next, so 11 shares, which is an increase of two shares since the last update, um, currently up 1.3%, which isn't too bad, um, slightly less than I've been up previously, but still in the green. Um, so 67, 65 current value, uh, which is about a pound gain. So this one I don't normally go through in my portfolio updates but if you want to know more about this go check out my penny stocks video. Um, this is a extremely high risk investment but it's Canabo Group. Um, I've got 296 shares here currently down 37% on this. 
So current value £55 um, and that includes a loss of about £32. Sentiment next, so 46 shares here, which is a five share increase since the last update. So currently 17% down, um, value of 48.76. Um, so again, that's kind of why I've increased here because it is still down. So I'm just averaging down my position. You can see the graph here is extremely volatile and it is at one of its lowest points that it's been. Um, so I am hoping that eventually it will go up again and I'll probably sell out of this um, once I'm in the green just because it is such a volatile investment. Um, and because I've got the physical gold ETF now, I feel like I don't really need the gold mining one. So yeah, as soon as it's in the green, I'm probably gonna sell this one. Emerging markets ETF, um, no change in shares. So currently sitting at £46.45 and up 23.3%, um, which is about an £8.78 gain. Rigel Farmer, so again, this isn't quite a new addition, but I've not mentioned it before on these updates. Again, check out that Penny Stocks video for explanations, etc. Again, a very high risk investment, but seems to so far be paying off for me. I'm up 16% on this one. So I've got 12.3 shares, um, value of 40 pounds. Um, so about five pound 50 of that is the gain. Robo Global, no change here. Again, these were just free shares that I've kept. So about 31.3% up here, um, which is about a nine pounds gain. And the current value is 37 pounds. Another emerging markets one. So this one is actually purely free shares um, that I've kept. So I am gonna sell out of this one. Um, once it's in the green, but it's currently sitting at £30 with a one penny loss. So I could sell out of it now if I wanted to, but I just want it to go up a little bit because I do think that the emerging markets ETFs tend to do really well, um, or at least they have in the past for me. So they do fluctuate, but I just want a little bit more of a gain. Secure income, no change here, seven shares up 30%. Um, currently sitting at £26.60, so about a £6 gain. Argo Blockchain, again, one of the penny stocks um, on the penny stocks video, um, doing really badly here. Um, but to be honest, Bitcoin is doing really badly at the moment, and this is highly linked to Bitcoin. So um, currently almost 40% down on this one, currently sitting at £26. Um, so I've got 20 shares here, which is about £17 loss. Cybersecurity, no change, just the one share. Again, you can see this was a free share in February that I've kept and it's gone up 1.1% to a value of £18.40. So in terms of the stocks, that's pretty much it. And I wanted to have a look at this feature here, which is the portfolio breakdown. And in terms of the sectors, I really like this split, which actually shows that 72% of my portfolio on free trade is in ETFs, trusts and cash, which is really cool because that's what I was aiming for. I was always aiming for about 70% in ETFs. So whilst it's a little bit higher than 70% here, um, I do have cash at the moment in here. So it will actually probably be a little bit lower when it comes down to it, but it means I'm on the right track in terms of the splits. About 9% in health, six, five, well, 5 5.7 in finance, um, and then obviously you can see the rest are very small. So could probably do with increasing the others a little bit, but actually I've still got my other portfolios, so I'm pretty happy with that split. If you do want a free share worth up to 200 pounds, then just use my link down below, sign up, top up, and we'll both get a free share. That's it for today, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. Bye.